Hi there. Now you're most probably familiar with finding areas of triangles by using the formula half base times the perpendicular height. But what I want to do here is introduce you to another formula, a very useful formula for finding the area of a triangle. It's often quoted as a half AB sine C. I'm giving you this without proof. If you want to see the proof of this particular formula, then do check out the next video that I do in this series. Now, let's suppose we take a typical triangle where the angles are marked A, B and C, and the opposite sides are little a, little b and little c. So what this is saying is that if you've got a triangle and you know two sides, let's say A and B, and the included angle, the one in between the two sides that you know, we call it C here, then the area of the triangle can be shown to be half the product then of those two sides times the sine of the included angle. So it's a very easy formula to work with. So if you had a triangle, let's say we have one something like this, okay, where that side here is say four centimeters, this one here is five centimeters, and the included angle okay, is say 32 degrees. We don't have to label the triangle ABC, okay, all we need is two sides and the included angle. So when it comes to working out the area, we can say that therefore the area of the triangle is equal to a half times the product of the two sides, that's four times five, or obviously five times four, it makes no difference, times the sine of the included angle, which is 32 degrees. Now, if you're doing further maths, you might find that the angle here is not in degrees, it might be given in radians. Whatever angular mode that you're working in, make sure you select it on your calculator. So here we're working in degrees, so check that you're in degrees mode. And if you work this out then on your calculator, you should find you get 5.299 and so on. And rounding this, say, to one decimal place, it's going to be 5.3 centimeters squares given to one decimal place, one dp there. So very easy formula to work with. Useful then when you don't have the height of the triangle. Now I've got one here that you might like to try. Okay, so uh, there it is. A triangle with two sides, six centimeters and six centimeters. This angle is 70 degrees. Have a go at that. Just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So how did you get on? Well, this angle of 70 degrees is not an included angle. It's not in between the two sides I've given you. But it's an isosceles triangle because the two sides are the same length, six centimeters. So I know that this angle here would be 70 degrees. And if I add those two together, you've got 140 degrees, take it away from 180 degrees. And that gives us 40 degrees then for that included angle between the two sides, six and six. So when it comes to working out the area of the triangle, we've got the area equals a half then times the product of the two sides. So that'd be six times six times the sine of the included angle, which is 40 degrees. And working this out, you should find you get 12.044 and so on. And again, rounding this to one decimal place, it's going to be 12.0 centimeter squares to one decimal place, one dp there. Okay, so a very useful formula when you know two sides and an included angle.